Okay. I guess we're doing betrayal. That doesn't sound good. Wet dream? That's not an R18. Anyway. Meow. Yes, Pepper, dinner will be ready soon, buddy. Meow. Me talking to my cats. My work? It's great, actually. I might even get recruited into the Blacks. I doubt that midget was telling the truth, but hey. Something to look forward to, right, little guy? Purr. Yeah, okay. That and maybe a hot new partner, but don't tell him I said that. What? No, I can't date him. Don't be silly. He's not even my type. Hot isn't your type? Whoa. I meant personality-wise, he's not my type. Too cocky and most likely popular. Okay, no, I get that. I get that. No, I don't even know if he's interested in men. Are you sure you're not interested? Uh, you're not, you're not sure? <laughs> Are you sure you don't know? Because I think you know. <laughs> Besides, you think you can share me, Pepper? That's what I thought. I'm gonna go now. You be a good boy until I get home, okay? Love you too. Look, congratulations. Um, thanks, but congratulations on what? What do you mean on what? Your promotion to the blacks, of course. W what? Or internship, as Goldie phrased it, but either way, I'm glad. Xander would have been proud. Jacob, you're not joking, are you? Because if you are, you know I wouldn't do that to you, man. Who do you think I am? Fox? No, man, it's all real. You are moving up. So is that flashy new partner of yours, which is quite surprising, but good for you, I suppose. I'll be the judge of that. Where is K-pop boy, anyway? Mm, I think Miss Ray still has her hands on him. She called him into her office. Not sure why, though. Oh, fuck. You don't think that old hag is holding him accountable for my actions, do you? I mean, he's supposed to keep me in check, and I wasn't exactly obeying the rules last night. It's possible. Damn, I didn't think about that. Maybe you should go save his ass. The kid has a smart mouth on him, and you know how the boss loves that. I... The music should be fine. I... But I might... I don't know. I think it's fine. Fuck, you're right. Better go before Pretty Boy says something stupid. I'll move my stuff later, okay? This music doesn't seem right right now. Good luck. God, for that, I was so loud. Damn, where was our office again? Are you done yet? Hmm? Um, what the? No, why are you using this old thing anyway? Lingerie is expensive, but you wouldn't know that, would you? Excuse me. Who had to buy you those panties last month, hmm? Oh, right. Apologies, Cassie Wassy. I'm just still upset about your whole stunt with Locke. Stunt? I understand why you did it, but you're milking our relationship a tad too far, don't you think? I am an opportunist. Consider it revenge for spoiling my team assignment yesterday. And you had to get Goldie in, in it as well. Assigning Locke as an intern is all her. Locke's place is well earned, unlike mine. Wait, what does that mean? Are they... did he...? I suppose. Well, it's Goldie's right as a captain, so I'll respect her decision. Can't say the same for you, though. Why are you so adamant about being his partner? What? He looked so cute and pitiful, like a little puppy. You love me, so I know you do as I say. That bastard. Had a nice talk, partner? Locke. Locke, hold on, what are you... You know, for a second I thought that maybe I can finally rely on someone else for a change. That someone turned out to be a freaking manipulative womanizer. Disgusting. Locke, buddy. Don't you buddy me. I thought I could trust you. But clearly I was mistaken. I don't need your pity. We may be partners, but from now on, just stay out of my way. Look. There you two are. I almost sent out search party. Where the hell have you been? Why don't you ask pretty boy over there? You two are close, right? Are you insinuating something, Locke dearest? Calm down. She's the reason you're on this team. Don't mess it up. Nothing. Sorry we're late, Captain. Keys and I had a little argument, that's all. Really? Trouble in paradise? Well, it happens. Not often, I hope. It won't happen again, I promise. Good. Lingerings and ignites I can handle. Bickering teenagers? I cannot. These two are trouble enough. Hey! You're not a walk in the park either, Tiny. Nice to see you again, Locke. If you have any questions, just ask, okay? I'm happy to help. Same here. My guidance isn't free, though. So this is Xander's brother. You recruits keep getting younger and younger. My name is Hagen. But everyone calls me uncle. 
and I'm his handsome partner and the team's invaluable gatekeeper, Playboy. Also, little tip, they might be easy on the eyes, but don't fall for any of the girls here. Especially Angel, rocking body, great in bed, but that woman will chew your heart and spit it right back out. Playboy, apologies, most of our members are still young at heart, to say the least. My kind of crowd. Disillusion flock? Kind of. I thought you guys would be more, I don't know, just more, I guess. So articulate. Sorry. I guess I was imagining it to be more uptight and serious like Fox's team. No offence, but I think Fox's leadership methods are a bit archaic, don't you think? I much prefer you seeing us as your new, highly skillful, dysfunctional family. Family, huh? Haven't had one of those in a while. That aside, what do you have in store for us today, Captain? Training? A case? Or... Hmm. Our work is not as exciting as you think. If there aren't any emergencies, we just catch up on our paperwork and help out the spiders. Oh, that reminds me, you two haven't got your toys yet. Toys? Weapons, like my retractable sword or Angel's little robots. You don't think skill alone is what makes this division so special, do you? Anyway, enough talk. Let me show you your new babies. Lexi. Look out! <laughs> Get actually dusted, Keys. What was that? You okay, Locke? Just worry about yourself, rookie. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm still working out the kinks on that one. Lock, Keys, this is Lexi. She's one of our weapon engineers here. Uh, technically, I'm just an intern. I'm sorry, I'm turning on this music just a little bit. If you stop doing Goldie's requests and do things according to the protocol, then we'll hire you for good, Lexi. Oh, Redback, didn't expect to see you here. I know, amazing, isn't it? Lola's covering for me. I need to rest my eyes for a sec. God, I hate my job. Sitting in front of the computer all day, scrolling upon an infinite amounts of in Instagram pictures, random crazed blogs about supernatural beings. Pacebook. Freaking Pacebook. I hate them. Whoever is running YouTube and all that Instagram shit, I hope they all choke on their fat wallets and die. Right. Lock, keys, this is Redback. He's the spider's leader. Spiders? You guys keep us and the Lingerings a secret, right? Cool. I always wondered how the public never seemed to be aware of the Lingerings. These nerds always take care of it. Getting paid to surf the net all day must be fun. Fun? Fun? Really now? Hey kid, do you know how many hours of sleep I get every day? Huh? How should I know? Guess! Six? <laughs> I wish. I get an hour of sleep a day. Do you know why? I... Cat got your tongue? Well, answer me this. How many depressed people do you know? How many of your friends join you for dinner and go, Oh, hey, dude, just want to let you know I'm thinking about killing myself this weekend. Just a heads up. Zero? Well, guess where they all hang out, hmm? The internet. They show all their doom and gloom there and end up creating more lingerings. More ghost apparitions, mysterious deaths, disappearances. All the millions of news you see on the web. I have to tweak all that shit so people won't know why buildings and bridges collapse for no reason. But do I get any credit? A little thank you? Fuck no. You think my job is easy, punk? With the amount of smartphones and free Wi-Fi around? You think I want this job? Do you? Well, why don't I shove your phone up your ass so you can see how much fun my job really is, huh? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Whoops, sorry there. Like I said, lack of sleep. Technology and I have a love and hate relationship ever since I got this job. We have couples counseling every week now though, so no worries. Anyway, I better head back to my office. Nice meeting you two. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Okay, bye. What just happened? Was he high or something? Oh, Redback is always like that. He may seem crazy, but he's just really, really caffeinated. Our last spider, Alpha, quit, and he was our best candidate. A bit crazy, but it comes with the job. Redback's not the reason why we're here, Lexi. Show the boys their new toys, s'il vous plaît. Oh, my pleasure. The keys, somewhat beautiful, sexy claws, fully retractable with electric blades if needed. Gorgeous. And for luck, my gauntlets. I got them back from Fox and modified them. Your shockwaves are twice as powerful now. I also added another element to your blasters. They can do both fire and ice attacks now. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. So, when do we get to try these babies? I'm not complaining, but where did the music go? In the training yard. 
Goldie, an S-class rage lingering. Just appeared on the 31st Street. Civilians evacuated, waiting for your command. Or now? Copy that, Angel. On my way. Let's have some fun, boys. Wow, big boy this one. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Scanning for weaknesses. Ugh. Playboy? Sorry, I can feel its emotions even from here. Depression, sadness, rage, intentions of suicide. We need to find the POI, quick. Crap. What's wrong? It's a hothead. Meaning? Fire. <laughs> that. Let me handle this, boys. Oh, see ya. G Goldie! Angel, what was that? Another lingering. A flying one? This lingering must have caused others to form already. If that's so, then the POI must be in a crowd somewhere. Uncle and I will try to find them. You guys handle that thing. What about Goldie? She can handle herself. It's us I'm worried about. We have to cool it down. Let's ice them. No, oh, I don't know what just happened. I guess we have to wait. Okay, he fell back down. Oh man, that hurts. Look out below! What? Goldie? Why do you look so surprised? This isn't the first time I killed a lingering in midair, and it certainly won't be the last. Actually, why are you here? Where are the others? About that, I kind of set my glove to the pulse cannon instead of the freeze ray. I see. Well, while I was flying around, I did see a glimpse of keys handling the situation. Oh, oh. Let's have a look. Est bien bien. All's well that ends well. Tout est bien qui finit bien. Oh, cool, cool, cool. They should have handled the situation by now, but let's go there and check, okay? Oop. So sorry, my hand slipped. I was aiming at the boy's hand, not my car windows, but hey, what's another crack gonna do? Hey, dude, is this your car? Look, sorry man, but there's a gas leak. You need to... I know an actual emergency than... I know an actual emergency than the ones you... Heart breaches bring up. Your concern is touching, though, officer. Goldie, no long time no see. I am sorry, do I know you? Still not paying much attention to the world, huh? I get it, it's a boring place. You should treat yourself to the fancy things in life. Make this shithole a bit more worthwhile. Speaking of fancy things in life, how are you going to pay for this, hmm? Or is the Ice Prince going to help you for a change? Ice Prince? Oh, now I remember. March Hare. The one and only. Wait, THE March Hare? Fox's former boss? The Gold's Alpha who got fired for selling drugs and torturing POIs? Shit, shit, shit. Uh, about your car. Yeah, what about my 3.2 million dollar car? 3.2 million? It broke my fall very well. Your cooperation is very much appreciated. Now step aside. We have a job to do. Is she crazy? Say hi to the boss lady for me. Will do. Lock, let's go. R right. Apostles of the Broken. Gotta be kidding me. A cult. Looks like it. One of these kids must have died first, and the other wrote that message with his blood and killed himself after. How gruesome. They came here to wreck havoc and die. So someone knows about lingerings and decides to what? Show their pains and just commit suicide after all that? They must have been suffering if they went that far, to see death as the only escape. I pity them. Do they have any ID? Shouldn't we contact their families? No IDs here. These two went the extra mile, cut the skin off their fingertips, then even the tags on their clothes have been all torn off. So they came prepared. Not only did they know about lingerings, they knew about us as well. Putain. What does that mean? Putain. Whore! I disappear for five minutes and all hell breaks loose. Mon dieu. Apostles of the Broken, a cult at this age. Seriously. Look, you're all right. Glad you're okay too, of course, Captain. I knew you'd be fine. Goldie, where did you run off to now? Well, it wasn't my fucking choice this time, was it? Did you neutralize the flying lingering? Of course I did, it's dead. I assume the flaming one is dead too? Thanks to Keys it is, but we couldn't save the POIs. They bled out and used their own blood to write this message. Why? What took you so long anyway? There was a minor mishap along the way, but I'll explain later. 
Angel, tell Redback to send out the cleanup team. Make sure they bring Lola here. On it. Is there a way to get rid of the back the, uh, the sprites? I hate it when they don't give you a way to get rid of the sprites. Playboy and I will secure the perimeter. Make sure there aren't any other lingerings roaming about. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a situation to deal with. situation it's complicated what do you mean where's she going the lingering from before no actually it's none of your business newbie i'm going to patrol the other side lock what what's his deal oh just a discord between colleagues i'm sure you know how it is doll keys don't just stand around we have a crime scene here R right sorry lock what are you hiding None of your business, Liam McLiason. I'm home! Pepper, I brought- I bought treats! Pepper, yeah boy! You won't believe who I ran into today. Buddy? Pepper? Come on, buddy, come on, he's right on the bed. Uh-oh. So Pepper is his name. What a good boy. Oh my god, look at this- <gasps> Look at this good fucking boy! March hair? What the hell are you doing in my house? Is that any way to treat a guest? I'm just praying my respects to your dead brother. I didn't know he passed. Shame, really. Nice guy. Good with kids. Get your hands off my cat. Oh, come on. What do you think I do to him, huh? Snap his neck? Shoot him? Is my reputation that bad? Figures. Kill a man once or twice, sell weapons here, drugs there, blackmail some people, and they think you're a psychopath. Don't get me wrong, I'm not high on the sanity or morality scale, but sociopathy is more to my taste. Yeah, whatever. Talk about. I don't care what you call yourself. Just tell me what you want and give me my cat back. A bit of an animal lover, aren't you? I appreciate that. All right, off you go, little buddy. Meow. There, you ask now. Without saying, I think you did a little bit more than scratch my car, don't you think? If it's money, then... Kid, one phone call and I can get 10 million just like that. No, this isn't about money, it's about respect. Can't exactly let you off that easy. Bad for the reputation, you know? You see, I got myself into a little shortage, if you will. The girls, too. They've been lonely, you know? They want a little brother to take care of, and hey, I have enough Alice's, but never enough rabbits, you feel me? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Girls? Yeah, thank you. Girls? Alice's? What the hell are you talking about? Just get to the chase. Straight to the point, huh? Love it. See, I have a little bar, cafe, strip club called Down the Rabbit Hole. Great place. Bakes, booze, booties, boobs, all that good stuff. And, you know, I do a little bit of sugar baby business on the side, but you're too young for that. So basically, my clients have been looking for something more, well... More on the manly side. Some testosterone, but not too much, because who likes to get out-dicked, right? You work for me, not full-time. I know you're busy with your new position and all, I respect that. But I do need a little bit of time on the weekends and maybe Fridays. TGI Fridays are always a hit. Are you crazy? I'd never sell my body to a bunch of old dudes. Looks like somebody wasn't paying attention. Now I hate repeating myself, but I'll do it just for you, okay? You're not selling yourself. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. I've been there, but trust me, there are other ways to make a profit with your clothes on. Don't worry, kid. You'll just be my new white rabbit. A little treat for the eyes, nothing else. A waiter at most. How about that? Deal? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, come on, kiddo. Even Goldie signed on it. You really want her to pay your debt by herself? Goldie? You got Goldie into this. You got her into this. An angel, that one. She sacrificed herself to make it all less miserable for you. I was going to burn your house and skin your cat, but she told me otherwise. She even convinced me to let you have days off. Such a saint, that one. Oh, how I want to rip the wings off of her. But I won't, if you would just sign here. I don't know. I don't know what to do, man, but I guess I'm going to sign. Oh, fine, fine, you psycho. I'll sign it here. Fantastic. I'm going to kill you for this. Get in line. Work starts 9... 9 a.m. to 8? That's almost 12 hours. This Saturday. You know where it is, right? It was the store I parked my car at. I advise you to show up unless you want me to drag you down there personally. No. Damn it. I couldn't even defend myself. That's what I wanted to hear. Ugh. First my partner and now this. I'm okay, buddy. You okay? Did I scare you? Yeah. I wish Sander was here too. Damn. Chapter unlocked? I didn't do this one. I don't know why there's a there's a tick next to it. I don't know why there's a tick next to this one either. 
I'm very confused about all this. Alright, well, we're going to continue with... with his. Hello? Why is it so dark in here? Where was the light switch again? Edge scrolling. Some clues are... I, it just goes away. Guess I know where all of our budget goes to. This is a pretty fancy kitchen. Maybe I should use it sometime. Oh, this. Okay, so we need to look over here. I don't see it. Is this a new Rex model? Cool, must be Playboys. Oh Boo! Ah, Goldie. <laughs> Sorry, Locke, I just couldn't resist. Jeez, you scared the shit out of me. Where is everybody? Angel, Doll, and Playboy are with the spiders analyzing clues about our mystery man. The rest of us are going to be sparring- are going to sparring practice. After yesterday, a bit of combat practice before using your toys again would be good, no? About yesterday. Goldie. March Hare, he- I know, I tried to strike a deal with him, but he's still persistent on getting you. Sorry. I was talking about you. Look, I know. I, it was my fault. I can't drag you into this. That's sweet of you, Locke, but I want to work with March Hare. What? What? He's a charming fellow. Quite the character, that one. We might learn a thing or two from him. He's a manipulative piece of shit. I've seen worse. But really, I can take care of myself. You don't have to worry about me. Or do I have to prove that to you at, at sparring practice, hmm? No. It's just that the guy is such a pain in the ass. Then let's use that frustration in practice, hmm? I'll even let you beat up Fox if you can. Fine. But I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Fox. You, me, now. Always rushing ahead. Fine. You and pretty boy, come on. What? Two against one. Partners, right? Skill-wise, I'd say it's a fair fight. No weapons. This should be interesting. Fox, I don't think that's... Goldie, I trust you'll judge fairly. Me? Alright, but make it a fun fight this time. Well, what are you waiting for? Fight! Look, I think we should. Just look after yourself and don't get in my way, Keys. I don't need your help. Have it your way, then. Fuck. That all? Oh, we need we need more French lessons. Uh, what a disappointment for you, Keys. Quelle déception pour toi. Quelle déception pour toi. Lock. Don't you call our name? Keys. That's enough. He needs his face intact. Come on now, get off. Of course. Sorry about that. Forgot you were an actor and all. I shouldn't have aimed for the face. I guess you're not all talk. You got some skills, Keys. I'll give you that. Thank you. And Locke. What? Tell Jacob to split his winnings with me. Yeah, yeah. Boys, what's this case about? Locke? Hey there, Fiona. Don't you Fiona me. Did Fox bully you again? Oh, my poor baby. Hey, don't hug me like that. Come on, you're embarrassing me. Oh! Oh, Keys might have just become my favourite character. I mean, that was Keys, right? Fiona, well, let's have a look. It looks like him. I'll need to check his eye colour. Fiona, enough already. Stop. Sorry, sorry. How is my darling former partner? When I heard about you joining the Blacks, I was so proud. Congratulations, sweetheart. Thanks. Next time, try not to hug me to death, alright? No promises. Also, how is your new partner? Is he good? Oof, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a good old save again. He's something, all right. I don't really know what to make of him. He's got some balls on him, that's for sure. Not a fan, though. The fact he's good at everything kind of pisses me off. Jealousy doesn't suit you, Locke. I know. Well, at least he's a he, right? The white-haired guy behind me? Isn't he your type? Eh, uh, or well. Man, you really know how to tease people, don't you? That was interesting. If you're talking about me losing, then... Oh no, I wasn't talking about that. I meant Key's fighting style. It's like hers, isn't it, Goldie's? You noticed that too? It might just be a coincidence. 
Nothing is a coincidence. You overthink things, but I agree for once. I knew there was a reason I like you. I aim to please. Everyone's gay. Everyone's like gay for each other. Mm, can you please answer Caterpillar's questions while I shower them? No problem. Good, get to it. Yes, sir. Cassius Keys. Hmm. <laughs> See, all of this is the same, isn't it? I don't know. We, I assume we will see this from his point of view, though. Do you have injuries? No known injuries. She has laceration wounds on the back. He has nothing. She's just constant, constant upper back pain. No known injuries. Okay, Alice. No, Pepper, this is my food, not yours. Oh, all right, but just one bite. Like it? No, you can't have another one. I promised Sander when I first got you. No fat ass cats. Wow. My cat is offended. Goldie? Hello? I just want to preface that my cat, I can diet, like my cat can diet everything stays fat don't know why I, we think that because she got pregnant really young um that she just stayed fat i don't know i don't know i, I can't explain it she doesn't even eat that much <laughs> hello bonjour look oh no more more french did you sleep well a tu bien dormi Ass toot bore me. You know I can't understand what you're saying, right? Oh, sorry, slip of the tongue. Anyway, March Hare just texted me. Said we're needed at his cafe. Fuck, we're really doing this, aren't we? It'll be fine, don't worry about it. You're really laid back, aren't you? Okay, I'll be there in ten. Make it five, see you soon. She's taking this way too easy. You think so too? Well, at least there's check Checkmate's concert this Sunday. They're always there for me, right? Her. Yes, and you too, buddy. Be a good boy, okay? I'll be back soon. At least I hope so. So he works all night, and then he goes in at nine. Oop. Look, my boy, I was starting to think you wouldn't show. Where's Goldie? Oh, he's so direct. She's changing into her, un her new uniform, so should you. Raven, Iris, come meet your new little brother. Cute. Oh my gosh, is this him? He's so cute. Lock, right? Wow, you're tinier than a wee mouse. Uh, um, oh, don't worry, we won't bite. Hard. Uh. Careful, Lock. They can smell fear. Goldie, wh what are you wearing? It's my new uni It's my new uniform. Like it? I think it's adorable. You look like a cupcake. A delectable cupcake. Don't worry, sugar. You look just as cute in your outfit. Me? What? Hey, don't touch me there. Not used to women. Not you. Not used to women, is he? Nope. You done yet? Need an extra pair of hands? No, stay away from me. How mean. Come on, you're taking way too long. Ready or not, here we come. Oi. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Bless his little heart. Oh, you look so cute. A perfect fit. Boss really guessed your measurement's good. Yeah, guessed. Hmm, is that sarcasm I hear? Please, hun. When you work with MH, privacy is the least of your worries. True, you'll be seeing a lot of drug lords, convicts, corrupt politicians, the whole shabab. And some decent human beings, of course, but they never pay as good as the others. Shame. You two aren't bothered by the all this. Isn't he exploiting you guys? Um, no. He's exploiting legal loopholes, but never us girls. I doubt you heard any good things about our boss, but the truth is, he's a total softy. To us, anyway. I mean, free dental care. Shelter. Enough money to graduate loan, uh, college loan-free. Not to mention all those free handbags our daddies g gave us. Those were the days. Raven and I don't do that anymore, though, but it was basically like stealing candy from a baby. Sorry, but don't you guys know? It's called sex, sweetie. And no, boss has a strict no-touch policy. Wait, what? 
Oh, don't you guys, you know. A strict no touch policy. Unless it's consensual, casual fun. But no sugar, we don't sell sex here. We just talk, look pretty, and dazzle them with our company. Make them forget how lonely and pathetic they really are. So, you two enjoy working here? Yeah, it's basically a cafe that happens to have stripper poles and offers a sugar baby service. Exactly. Don't worry, we won't let the guys touch you. MH made that clear. You're just a waiter, like us two. I used to dance and Iris used to be a baby, but after we had enough for college, we just stuck with cafe work. Why? Why not leave? Because we like working here, duh. Plus, I'm dating MH's niece. She's a real cutie, but she works in some secret government thingy. I never get to see her unless I come here, so here I am. But enough about us, Locke. What about you? Me? Yeah, what kind of girl you like? Which one of us catches your eye? Me or me? Gee, thanks. But I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess I like Iris. But I mean, I also like Raven. Let's just go with neither. Because I'm just playing him as gay. Um, I prefer someone more masculine, if you know what I mean. Oh? Oh! So you're cute and gay. Oh, you and I are going to be the bestest friends. Yeah, um, no. Can we please just get this over with? <clears throat> no fun. But okay, let's get back to March Hare. Well, aren't you adorable? Look, you look so cute. Fuck off. Now, now, that won't bring in the customers, right? What do you mean by that anyway? It means you'll be standing outside promoting the place during the day and wait tables at night. Don't worry, I won't send you to the other section of the, of the cafe. No virgins allowed. Pucker. Wait, what about Goldie? Oh, don't worry, I just provide free tarot readings to entertain the guests. You have it worse than I do. Great. Don't be so bitter, kid. I'll actually pay you for your troubles. Plus, you'll be surrounded by women. What more can you ask for? I know you're gay and all, but hey, pretty things are pretty, aren't they? How did you- I know shit. Some guys here might want to buy you for an hour or two, but don't worry. It's all talk. They won't touch a hair on you. If they do, I'll cut their fingers off. Guaranteed. What? Oh, we can vouch for that. Gruesome sight, but it really keeps the bad ones away. You want to see the pictures? Fuck no. Then stop chatting and start working. Clean up tables before we open. I will see you in the next video. Bye.